Hello students, in this video we'll discuss several important properties of combinations. So we recall that n choose k, which is also written as c k n, is equal to n factorial over k factorial n minus k factorial. And combinatorially, this is the number of ways to select k elements from n without regard to order. or arrangement. And so there are several important properties of these. Let's talk about the first one. So if we look at n choose 0, the number of ways to choose no elements from n is defined to be 1. And let's think about n choose 1. So n choose 1 is the number of ways to choose one thing from n, so that will be equal to n. Analogously, if I look at n choose n minus 1, that's how many different ways can I choose n minus 1 elements from n. This should also be equal to n for the following reason. If I have a collection of n elements, and I wish to choose n minus 1 of them, I'm leaving 1 out. So the question becomes is how many ways can I leave one out? And there's exactly n ways to do that. And that comes from a more general symmetry principle, which says the following. So this is our symmetry of these coefficients. And the symmetry condition says that n choose k is the same as n choose n minus k. And let's think about this in a variety of different ways. We can do it sort of algebraically. This is n factorial over k factorial n minus k factorial. And this over here will be, is this equal to, question mark, n factorial over n minus k factorial, and then n minus n minus k factorial. Well, we see that this expression over here is exactly with a k, so this is an actually equal to n factorial over n minus k factorial, k factorial, and indeed they are the same. So this is true, so the symmetry principle is true. So for example, an example of this, we could have that 10 choose 3 is the same as 10 choose 7. And we can think of this from a leave one out perspective as well. If I have a set of n elements, let's do a particular example. Let's say that we have, let's do our 10 example. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I wish to choose three of them. So once I choose three of them, let's pick those out. One, two, and three. I have, by choosing three, I have also anti-selected seven of them. So by every time I choose three, I've also in, in effect not chosen seven of them. So reversing the roles of chosen versus not chosen, we see that 10 choose three is 10 choose seven, or n choose k is n choose n minus one. Now there's one other really important property of her symmetry property of these. And that's the following. This is the Pascal relation, and we'll talk more about the Pascal in future videos. But what's the Pascal relation? The Pascal relation says that n plus 1 choose k can be written as the combination of n choose k plus n choose k plus 1. And if we think about the binomial, we can verify this over here just by writing this out. So this will be n plus 1 factorial over k factorial, and then n plus 1 minus k factorial. And then over here, each of these things, well, what will this be over here? So this is this over here. And now let's write these guys over here. So what will those be? So that will be n factorial over k factorial n minus k factorial. And this will be n factorial over k minus 1 factorial. And then n minus 
k minus 1, so it'll be n minus k plus 1 factorial. And now we see we have an extra term over here, so what we can do is we can get a common denominator. I will put a k over here, and then I will put a, so then I'll add a k in the denominator. And what I'll do over here is I will add in an n minus k plus 1, n minus k plus 1 on top, and then n minus k plus 1 on the bottom. And then what we see over here is now we have a common denominator, and so what this will be, this will be equal to n factorial n minus k plus 1, and then plus k n factorial over k factorial n minus k plus 1 factorial. There's a common factor of n factorial here, so if I have k plus n minus k plus 1, those k's will cancel out, and I'll just see that the top is exactly just equal to n plus 1 factorial. So it's n plus 1 factorial over k factorial, n minus k plus 1 factorial, and that's exactly equal to this expression over here. So we've just verified this Pascal relation. In further videos, we'll look at the Pascal triangle and see how we can use this relationship to easily compute these coefficients quickly. Thank you very much.